MLR original Scott Green, the man in the middle, assisted by Luke Rogan, Lex Weiner, and Austin Reed Reed is our TMO for tonight's contest. Underway at Starfire in Tukwila, the Western Eliminator. San Diego, nice attacking platform provided. Hanonu inside, 10 meters away. Brought to ground, Augsburger there quickly. Mitchell with the yep. carry. Now Augsburger, a little show and go, and a cross and down. San Diego on top. Nate Augsburger puts the Legion ahead five to nothing. The little general Augsburger. What about that? Two touches in this match. One of them was nearly a try. Here's that scrum, solid platform for San Diego. Tamalau at the back. We thought he might have a crack, but yeah, no. Yeah. Give it to Nonu. Bashing it forward. Yeah, Great no, tackle from right. Alatimu. Yeah, no, He's definitely no, up issues. against it with a guy like Nonu running at him all day. And then Mitchell carrying it forward. And then just a little show and go. You see Herbstein. Augsburger, the 31-year-old out of Minneapolis. Eagle number 491 is Peterson. Splits the uprights. MLR's all-time leader in points scored in the playoffs. Joe Peterson extends the visitors' lead. Seattle, the two victories in the meetings this year. But it's difficult to beat a side three times in a year. But here comes Duncan Matthews, Seattle's leader in carry meters. Matthews just shy of the 22. Seattle looking to respond after conceding the try to Augsburger. Reno Herbs taken down. Hinkus van Fike with the tackle. Straight off his feet there. Get number seven. You see the desperation of Smith just coming in. As Alatima will elect to bring out the tee to put Seattle on the board via the penalty. Alatimu. No trouble up and through, and Seattle is on the board. They've cut it to a four-point deficit. A chance to score down for Seattle. Malcolm with the line-out throw into Hattie. Okay, inside the five. Tanga there at the back, ball in hand for the big tight head. But Tanga rumbling. Seattle across, can they dot it down? They do. Seawolves with their first try, courtesy of Sam Matanga. Well, and courtesy of AJ Alatimu as well. A 50-22 from this part of the field, Seattle. Hadding goes up, takes it easily. You see San Diego wanting to just try and defend and sack it straight away, but keeping their feet beautifully with Seattle and then just the drive. The blue machine all the way over the try line. On an MPC sidle back in 2020. Runners up to Waikato in 2021. As Alatimu raises the flags and Seattle extends the lead to three after the Matanga try. San Diego, they, the Legion thought they may have an advantage in the lineout. But so far, as Matt mentioned, that quick lineout ball working very well for Seattle. Yeah, really great insight from Matt Truville there. Just the little nuances of the game. One for one in penalties, one for one in conversions for the Samoa International. Alatimu raises the flags again and extends Seattle's lead. Now 13 to 7. 27 year old Glaswegian with the throw. Able to connect in the hands of Larson. Back to the driving ball. Go the Seawolves. They found their opening try via this. Zemetsenga in the 11th minute. Yeah. Malcolm. Seattle playing the advantage. Smith back with it. On to Busby. Back to Alatimu, out wide, Duncan Matthews. It's gonna be a race to the try line. Matthews across and down, try for Matthews and Seattle. We've seen them do this before, Seattle. Again, yep. playing advantage, trying to advance, ball comes down, okay. so it's the back's we'll turn. Break after the kick, if you wanna pass on the message. Comes out to Alatimu, the looping pass over to Matthews, still had some work to do, evades the... Super rugby veteran, full credit to Busby as well as he was able to get the pass off while he was absolutely leveled. Alatimu, the conversion from a tight angle, sends it through. Picked up after the Matt Mould's neck injury. They needed his experience and his leadership and they've gotten it. Do it. Inside ball to Basson. Basson finds space. Here comes Michael Smith. Smith cuts inside. Duratalo brings him to top. ground, but it's San Diego just no. six meters out. Augsburger back to Tamalau. Tamalau across in town. The pig number eight would not be denied. 
The lead up play from San Diego. Inside pass is the theme of that try. Tamalau finished it off. And how are you going to stop a man okay. like that charging yeah. from five meters out? Duratalo, great tackle. But now they're in sixes and sevens, Seattle. They get themselves okay, no. into some kind of yeah, defensive line, but reviews, you need a stronger games. one when you've got a man okay, like that. Shot. Right down Main Street for the former Super Rugby vet, and it is a six-point affair. Jamu Majola brought down by his countryman, Fan Fike. Inside ball, Busby to Neal. Okay, yep. Big wing, unable to get free. Captain, take the man off the ball. No. Two for two in penalty goals. Yeah, that's good to me, guys. And remains so. Tacks on an extra three, and Seattle extends the lead to nine. Pryor able to get the offload before he slung into touch. Now Thomas Aoki, the fin for Aoki, and able to get by Manoa. Okay, no advantage. That's the third dangerous tackle by uh, Seattle. So the players got it. Tackle starting to creep up a little too high for Seattle. The third, as you That's heard, Scott Green say for right. Seattle. It's a third high tackle by your team. That has resulted in a yellow card, and I believe it was Hatting, the man you do not it's want not to end like up in the sin bin. Here comes Seattle, Matanga in front of the seawall. Smith pleading his case. Seattle does indeed win the penalty. Seattle is perfect thus far. Yep. And remains so off the tee. Another penalty from AJ Alatimu. Thumbs up from number 10 in blue. Looking to get underneath. A second go. Larson spins across and down. Travis Larson dots it down. The former San Diego man with the five for Seattle. So which they're playing. San Diego did well to get back, scrambling in defense, but you're not gonna stop Seattle from there. San Diego bringing former England captain and Harlequins legend, Chris Robshaw out. He will take the place. Tavita Tamalau as the eight man. No, no, nine, stay out, nine, use. Just under a quarter of an hour remaining. Can he make an impact? Matthews flying forward, has Ross Neal. Neal across and down. That may well do it. You'd have to say it'd be tough for San Diego to come back. Ross Neal crosses the line. And you'd have to say the assist was extraordinary from none other than Duncan Matthews. Throwing everything at them, San Diego. And then just down the short side. Fancy footwork and then brings Basson in. And Ross Neal, well, at that size and weight and height. More or less the same height as the flankers. Great kick from Alatimu. Alatimu remains perfect. Does AJ Alatimu has not missed off the tee tonight? Player of that caliber, who obviously mentioned the CV of Hanoni and what he's been able to do and to have these players help grow the game stateside. In the largest five years old, and I can't imagine where we're going to be in nine years. Miller's all-time leader in points scored in the playoffs. Second all-time in points scored ever is Peterson. Alatimu back to the tee. Like death in taxes, A.J. Alatimu raises the flags. And it's Seattle 43-14. to That is going to be a matchup next week at Aviva Stadium down in Houston. A contrast in styles if there ever was one. Raylala with the carry over the 22. Aoki, knocks back, Tupo in with the tackle, here comes Pryor, whoa, what an offload to Higgins from Dan Pryor. Higgins across and down, it'll be a try for San Diego, incredible stuff from Dan Pryor. Never say die from San Diego, spinning it out, some good footwork there from Aoki and Pryor, look at this, out the back, the no look pass, straight into the hands of the try yeah, score. Hold up. But someone got their hands underneath that, and that'll be it. The final whistle from Scott Green. Seattle heads to the Western Conference final.
It'll be the Seawolves and the Sabercats down at Aviva Stadium in Houston next week. Seattle remains unbeaten. They are 5-0 all-time in the playoffs.